sometimes when the lead comes in from ClickFunnels, you do not want to make it a hassle to go to ClickFunnels and check the list, right? You want them to go to Google Sheet, right? So in this video, I'm going to show you how you can put the leads that come in from ClickFunnels, uh, the leads or any other information coming into ClickFunnels, and then populate in the Google Sheet, right? This can be done using a software called Zapier. So there's a free and paid version of Zapier for just ClickFunnels to Google Sheet is free. But if you want to do more extensive stuff, there's a price tag to it. But for this simple process, I'm going to show you to you how you can do it with just a free Zapier account. So let's go. All right, from ClickFunnels landing page or ClickFunnels landing pages into a spreadsheet. So how this can be done. So for example, I have this landing page already, right? Feel free to check it out, right? It's at the bottom of the description box below. So once you put your full name, your email address, you want it to appear in the Google Sheet. So I have a, I've prepared a spreadsheet. So usually this is the, the standard things that, that we put inside our spreadsheet so that you know the name can be there, phone number, email address, then whether it's contacted or those, and also some comments. So this is, uh, for example, if you're, if you're doing lead generation, this could be a good place for you to put everything there to extract. Right, so what you need next is of course a Zapier account. So for Zapier account, you don't even need a paid version for this, you need a free version. All you have to do now is to link them up first, right? So let me just link them up. So let's just make a zap. So from here, I'll just put here, right? Now you just have to go to, for example, the app event here. You can search for ClickFunnels, right? It's already there because I use ClickFunnels quite often. So what you have to do is just go to ClickFunnels, trigger event. So when new contact activity, when so people fill out information, they got new lead, there's a new contact activity, and you appear there. Even if successful purchase, new field purchase, everything will be here as well. I right, just pick the one that's relevant to you. So I just pick new contact activity, click continue, and then choose account. So choose account. So I want to connect to a new account, which is my current account that I'm using right now. So now it's connected. Right, because I'm already logged in, so automatically it's connected. So you just have to log into your ClickFunnels account, then open Test with Zapier. Right, you can change the name later if you want to. Right, all you have to do is just go Manage Connected Account, then you can change the name accordingly. Right, next you go Continue, then you choose the funnel that's related. Right, I want to choose uh, these funnels, which is the checklist. Right, free checklist. Click on here, then you choose the funnels that. So you can choose the checklist free because some funnel they might have different place where you can do lead generation as well for example the first page could be another download second page could be for you to segregate your list so just make sure that the, the funnel step is choose, chosen correctly if not you will notice that you have to be entry and things like that so just click on funnels and choose the funnel step right next click continue that's your trigger so once you've done the setup trigger right choose your, your funnel choose your funnel step Go to a test trigger. So find for the. So I have tested a new contact, right? You click continue. So close. Then you add a new one, which is sheet Google sheet. Then you choose an event, create spreadsheet row. Choose an account. So I really link my account here. Continue. Then you choose the spreadsheet. So for example, I want the lead spreadsheet. So which is here, the same name, lead spreadsheet. The worksheet is lead. Continue. Go to date. So uh, when is the date created at? The name. I didn't collect phone number, so it's fine. But you can put it in case you want. In case you want to add additional phone fill, so it can be done as well. You click continue. So yeah. Before that, one thing about phone, right? You have to let me let me just go back. Continue. For phone, right? You have to put like uh, this astrosophy on top, right? Because uh, when without it, right? Because uh, some numbers start with zero, and when you go to lead spreadsheet, then the zero will be cut off. Uh, then it won't be a nice number. So you have to put this uh, this this thing put on top so that it make the entry become text and. It, it won't cut off like for example zero and things like that. So just leave it like that. Just put it there. Right? So you click continue. And you test and continue. You test the action. And then you see it will appear here. Right? So there's a bit of formatting. So first the first entry is always like this. It's always always shows like this. So all you have to do is just have to um be formatted accordingly, right? Then you're done. Right. Then you just have to turn it on. There, 
So next, you want to try whether it really works. So all you have to do is just, you know, create another one. All right, just click download now. And boom, it appears here. Right. So that's how you, how you can connect between Zapier and ClickFunnels. So immediately, you know, just link, link them up and then you will appear here easily. Right. That's it. Thank you. All right. So that's how easily you can connect ClickFunnels to Google Sheet using this software called Zapier. Right. If you like what I share, do like this video. If you are not subscribed to this channel, why not? Right. This channel talks a lot about digital marketing entrepreneurship. So if you're interested in these kind of topics, do Subscribe to this channel, turn on the notification bell so you don't miss any of my future video. And I have a freebie for you as well. Just go to the description box, click the link and get the free checklist. So thank you very much for watching this video and I see you in my next video. Goodbye.